In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so for this reason must take sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth. In holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples, disciples do not? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot feast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst, the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, 
new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we can see that besides fasting on the Day of Atonement, the Jewish people observe many other days of fasting, both public and private. The days of fasting manifested mourning, penance, purification, preparation for a feast or a mission, or seeking God's grace. Pious Jews considered fasting an act of virtue for their religion, which pleased God. One who fasts addresses God in an attitude of humility, imploring forgiveness for his separation from God while depriving himself of those things that often cause the separation. That Jesus does not instill this practice into his disciples and followers comes as a surprise for the Pharisees. They cannot understand it. But Jesus gives them a fundamental reason. How can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? For Israel's prophets, the bridegroom signifies God and his divine love for men, in contrast to Israel, his not always so faithful spouse. Hence, Jesus declares his divinity. He calls his disciples the bridegroom's friends, and those who are with him do not need to fast, for they are not separated from him. The church has remained faithful to Christ's teaching on fasting. Though coming from the prophets and even being a natural and spontaneous practice in many religions, our Lord confirms with a new meaning. Fasting can be used as preparation. It strengthens prayer and contemplation. Jesus even fasts in the desert as a preparation for his public life. May our fasting, both physical and spiritual, draw us closer in our relationship with the Lord. As a people of faith, trusting that God hears our prayers, we now offer to him these our prayers of petition. That the church may be assigned to all people in the world that mutual love is the only way to lasting peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for those who are persecuted because of their faith in Christ, that they may know his peace in their hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all seminarians, that they may be diligent in their discernment about priesthood, and that we may support them by our prayers and encouragement. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Antonio Leba, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners who are confined to their homes or nursing facilities, for those who are sick, those who care for them, and for those intentions entrusted to our prayers, and those we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, we offer you our prayers for all who are in need. May your love come upon them. May they experience your saving help. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.